vaping, e-cigaretting, hooning, robo-smoker, puffing the old electric dragon, battery backing, lighting the chimney, cloud chasing, cold boxing, vaping. A dreamy step in getting Aotearoa off the cigarettes, or is it? Swapping smoking for vaping feels very close to quitting carbs by going hundy on potatoes. Daily smoking is going down and daily vaping is going up, which is what the government wanted, right? Smoke-free Aotearoa 2025 is only focused on cigarettes. It doesn't include vaping. Long live the land of the long white cola ice cloud. We're fixing one problem, but potentially creating another. Dairies can no longer sell flavored vapes. So we're seeing more and more vape shops pop up faster than you can say. If it's just about the taste, can't you just chew some hubba bubba? We're seeing more and more rangatahi raw dog the vape. Not previously smokers, they've decided to go all in on vaping and I'm beginning to wonder what it's all about. What is so appealing about puffing something that looks like a USB? Is vaping even cool anymore? And is anyone doing anything about this? Joining me from the Ha Collective, as seen on Breakfast TV and maybe Instagram, it's Elijah Teatia. Welcome, Elijah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I reckon I could start vaping. What do you reckon? Oh, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to vape, you can vape. You can even vape in front of me. But it's not my job to smack the vape out of your hands. It's my job to let you know what the vape is doing to you. Why do you think young people vape? The number one reason, stress relief. A lot of young people go through a lot of things, you know, and that, that, that's, that's really real. Yeah. They normally use the phrase, it's not as bad as ciggies. But um, yeah, if you haven't um, smoked cigarettes before and you go straight to the vaping, you're actually doing more uh, damage long term uh, to, to your lungs. You are a part of the Ha Collective. What's the collective all about? You know, just raising awareness on, on what vaping actually does uh, to our youth, and it's a youth-driven um, collective. Cool, so for rangatahi, by rangatahi. Yes, that's the main point, is that it's, it's for rangatahi, by rangatahi. What is the end goal for her? Best case scenario? Even if one person was to realise it and was to change, uh, you know, their, their ways and to sort of uh, replace the vape with uh, another vice. What are some other vices? Uh, something that you would do in your spare time maybe to, you know, relieve some stress and stuff. So mm -hmm. I know a lot of crossfitters. So a lot of crossfitters do crossfit training. Elijah, those do not feel like the same thing. Vaping or crossfit? I mean, you're, you're, like you're relieving thing. stress. You're relieving stress. So a lot of a lot of lawyers do crossfit. A lot I'm of getting stress. Do. If I start crossfit, I will start vaping. But I mean, even if crossfit's <laughs> not your cup of tea, you can, uh, you can write songs, you can write poems. Okay. You could sing. Okay. So if that's more your forte, then, then there you go. What is your favourite Food. Uh, it's my mum's lasagna. If they made a vape juice of your mum's lasagna, would you vape? Oh man, that's a good question. No, no probably not. Okay, you, you have convinced me. What could someone like me do to actually help us achieve that smoke-free vision? Educate yourself. That's probably the main advice is to, to be open and to, to access the information and the advice available. Before you did say you could write a song instead of vaping. Write a song? Write a song. I can maybe sing one. I'll do the beat. Okay, cool. I can't beatbox. Okay, cool. Very generic beat. Don't vape, go see your sunset. Yeah. Don't vape, <laughs> don't vape, <laughs> put down the vaping. Don't vape. Cool. Cool. Uh, I think we just fixed a whole generation from ever vaping with that. <laughs> Welcome to Make It or Vape It. I'm your host, Janae Henry, and together we are putting a vapor and a non-vapor to the test. Battling it out with the voice of an angel, it's Elijah Teatia, who is up against my dear friend and comedian, Courtney Dawson. Will Elijah make it, or will Courtney get to vape it? Round one, the breath test. Gorgeous. <laughs> Round two. I've always been a big fan of musical theatre and a big fear around vaping is that it would destroy my beautiful singing voice. I want to hear a very long Janae. Janae. <laughs> Five. 
final round. Apparently, vaping can affect your taste buds. Distinguish between the Diet Cola, the Cola Zero, and the OG Cola. Uh, the Zero, normal cola, Diet Cola. Number one is Diet, Zero, normal cola. And the big winner, shocking us all and devastating science, is Courtney Dawson. Yes. The view is lonely from the top, huh, Courtney? Bet you wish you had a bit of a collective behind you, like on my Elijah here. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week to see if Courtney can beat that big avatar breath hold. Mm-hmm.